Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. We sure got a good one in store for you on this one. How does a six card mining rig time lapse putting in that wonderful AS Rock H81M Pro BTC board along with some of our favorite cards, the Gigabyte 270 R9s. This is your host Carter. Let's get into this. Before we get started building this rig, let's go ahead and take a snapshot of what this board is. This H81 Pro BTC board from AS Rock is specifically designed for crypto mining. Now, obviously it was targeting BTC with its BTC in the name, but as we all know, BTC is mined with ASICs. So now we're stuck with script mining, which is perfectly fine because I actually like the diversity of script mining and changing different coins here and there and switching them around. And while some say that this was a little late to the game, I absolutely disagree. And anybody that's in the market with trying to put together even a four to five card rig will know that trying to get a board stable, making sure do you power your risers, do you not power your risers, which operating system do you use, BIOS firmwares, I mean, I find it fun, the discoveries. But for the guy that's just entering in and really wants to just build a rig, get the thing mining, start turning over a profit, you want something that's reliable and designed specifically for the task. I gotta give this board its props. We put this thing in the rig, plugged in six cards, had a hiccup in Windows 7, no problem in Windows 8.1, and we'll show you that some of that results here at the end of the video. So as you can see in the video, this rig has five 1X slots and one 16X slot, along with a couple of the four pin Molex connectors, adding some additional power to the PCI Express bus. Other than that, pretty standard small form factor board. It's an Intel supporting board, and I know a lot of the AMD fanboys, I'm an AMD fanboy, love them to death. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a rig like this that supports six cards yet. Shameless plug for you manufacturers that stumble onto our videos. But now I digress. Let's go ahead and get into this build. Now, this rig's a little different compared to our previous time-lapse build by adding a little more space. What I mean by that is the original build that we had in our time lapse was 19 and a half inches long, 14 and a half inches in depth, and nine and a half inches tall. What we've done here to accommodate the six cards is expand that out to 21 and a half inches long, nine inches tall, we're cutting off about a half inch in height, and then 16 inches in width. And that's really to accommodate the ability to have two full size seven inch power supplies. Now with a rig with six GPUs, uh, we're kind of cheating going with the 270s because the power requirements are not as steep as if you were going with some 280s or 290s. Now as for materials, we'll be working with an eight foot stick, three of them, of 1 16th inch angled aluminum. Pick it up at Lowe's, Home Depot, you name it. Couple that with one 10 foot stick of one by three pine, or as some people call it, uh, popular. Then a small box of sheet metal screws, some quarter inch nylon plastic spacers for the motherboard, or you can do what I love doing and cut up in a pen, preferably from a bank then a handful of one inch drywall screws. Now on the cuts for the angled aluminum, you're gonna make four cuts of 21 and a half inches. You're gonna make four cuts of nine inch and you're gonna make four cuts of 16 inches. As for the pine or any other wood that you choose to use, you're gonna make four cuts of that 16 inches. It's gonna be the width of the case. And then you'll make one 21 and a half inch cut, which is what the graphics card set on. Again, the standard build, just like we did in our other time lapse, just a little longer to accommodate those extra cards. Now for the thermal check that we seen from the previous setup that we did, we had roughly around one inch and a quarter between the cards and saw around 70 to 80 Celsius from that. We spaced the cards out and the other rig only had three in it and notice one and a half inches really is a sweet spot. Now, once this was complete, we went ahead and placed the motherboard on there and then added the six cards. Now we've had quite a few questions both down in the channel comments and direct messages about how strong and sturdy are these cases. These cases are extremely strong and sturdy. We're talking one sixteenth inch thick angled aluminum. And when you bind them together to create this rigid box design, 
you can stand this thing right up on the side have the cards smack down on it and it will hold up all those no problem as you see in the video here but let's be honest the the rigidness here isn't what we're looking at we're looking at good thermal design somewhere something that we can put six cards into and we can push some air across them as they're going to be running at 100 percent in addition to that we needed the space for two psus a rig this size six cards we're going to run into some plug issues it's not even a matter of power like we can put a 1650 watt power supply in here that could hold up these six cards but if we were to upgrade this box into putting 280s or 290s we definitely have to go with two psus so now that we got this put together let's take some real close snapshots of this to give you kind of an idea of the space underneath the cards the airflow how that nine inch is really working out for this case and give you some basic ideas of how much space you got to work with a case of this size now quick specs of the rig that we got here obviously we got the as rock h81 pro btc an intel g220 dual core processor eight gig memory stick six of those gigabyte 270 r9s a corsair cx 750m power supply and a thermal take 1200 watt power supply you've seen in one of our other rigs now in this configuration we got the cx 750m running the motherboard and two of the cards and we got the thermal take 1200 running the other four cards again if you're a manufacturer watching this we really need as mining enthusiasts a 1500 to 1650 watt power supply that can accommodate enough of enough rails to support at least the 270 level series with the six pin and an eight pin or two six pins up to six cards till then i guess we'll We'll be plugging away with two PSUs. Now under a load, this 1200 is barely even sweating here. We got four of these cards plugged into this. I got that plugged into the kilowatt and we're running right around 400, 450 watts AC from the wall. Now, right out of the gate, we went ahead and tried Windows 7 and four cards were found right away. Two cards were disabled and through a lot of angst and trying to reset stuff, uninstall drivers, you name it, we were able to get five to hold up. Six one was just very finicky. So we went ahead and switched over to Windows was 8-1 amazing difference found all six cards right away we did have one little hiccup right in the first boot up the first time where it really didn't want to find that that last card it showed it there but it had an exclamation point on it we uninstalled went into the device manager uninstalled it hit scan for new hardware it found it and set it up fine so that brings us to this next image here it was showing all of the cards running now as for hashes we kind of started in stair stepping right so the very first set of hashes we just try to make sure all six cards are initialized they're running and we're right around that 409 to 417 but not really pushing the cards any now we make a few tweak on the settings and we're putting that obviously down below but we get these cards stabilized right around 430 to 445 which is about the target amount for these 270s now i have a few that are just crazy hybrid great runners uh, on a couple different boxes and we're getting around 465 470 out of them we'll keep playing with this one to see if we can actually get that around that 465 470 out of this and this is a really good 2.6 2.7 mega hash hash box good thermals good price solid hasher i mean this is by far bar none probably one of the best bargain boxes you can get and we do have an upcoming episode where we're, we're targeting around four cards i'm calling it the budget box build a uh, good motherboard that's nice and cheap for these cards and it just for the cost ratio is just you, you can't beat it now this rig i think we had a total into it around 1600 dollars. and there's a few things we could have saved on we put an ssd in there purely because we built, rebuild these with so many different os's and test configurations that i just just the time savings of having the SSD and trying the different OS's is worth its weight in gold to me. That 120 gig Kingston that we had in there was nice and cheap. I think we got it for $69. Then you got uh, the Intel chip is about 59. You got six of these cards at $179 each at Micro Center. Obviously, got to pay tax and all that. Then you got a couple power supplies right, right around $79 for those. Now you can spend a little more on gold power supplies, but a couple 750s, maybe even a couple 850s in this rig, and you're good to go. Uh, Tiger Direct's now accepting bitcoins. You can go out there. I think they had these the 850 versions of the cx's right there around that 79 dollars after rebate couple of those paired with this and you got yourself a pretty good rig and then obviously you can either build or buy a rig like this um to put your stuff into you know that supports the six cards with the right set angle and then you're looking at you know 1600 1700 dollars out the door now i think that's going to wrap us up for this episode but i want you guys to stay tuned i got a few more things to stay here stick with me i owe you a sapphire vapor x build we got that 
coming up on an episode this week and then we got a couple 290s that i'm waiting on once those come in there we're going to try to do at least a four maybe even a six card build with the 290s i think that'll be a great episode and then obviously we still owe you that wonderful mineral oil rig we got everything in for that we'll be posting that rig up on twitter as we start to build it and i think you guys are going to be blown away we're going to sink six sapphire toxics in that and with one of these btc boards it's going to be friggin sick i cannot wait to get it to you guys just tune in for that in closing put those questions down there i'll get whatever i can answered for you i know there's a few still outstanding and i'm trying to find some answers for you guys on but we will respond once we get that information out to you tweet us friend us send us to your friends post it on facebook get this out and we'll get some pretty awesome stuff out for you guys stay tuned the bits be tripping the bits be tripping